<laughs> hey. Before we begin the video, I just want to remind you guys that Fact Maniac is a thing. But Matt, what's that? Well, let me tell you. Fact Maniac is my separate brand that I just started about a few weeks ago where I post amazing daily facts on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. So many of you have already started following it, and I'm glad you're enjoying it. But for those of you that haven't, check out the links in the description. I really think you're going to enjoy it, and go follow Fact Maniac now. Okay, let's begin. Mythical heroes make for really good books and movies. There's just something really cool about fictional characters that, of course, could never really exist. Or could they? Here are 10 mythical heroes that actually existed. Number 10 is Theseus. The story of Theseus and the Minotaur is one of the most famous myths from ancient Greek mythology. Recent archaeological findings suggest that it might actually be based in fact. In the myth, King Minos of Crete had a huge labyrinth built beneath his palace to house a monstrous half-man, half-bull called a Minotaur. To pay tribute to the king, the city of Athens was forced to send young men and women each year to be slain by the monster. Theseus was the hero in the story who finally defeated the Minotaur in the depths of the labyrinth. Now while no one is suggesting that there was a real half monster half man, we know that there was a real king named Minos in a labyrinth beneath his palace. Some have suggested that perhaps Theseus himself is based in fact and ventured beneath the palace to face off against either a man or a bull in the darkness. Well wait a minute, if it was that dark down there, maybe it was just a man with really thick hairy legs, like an Italian. Number 9 is St. George. The story of St. George slaying a dragon may not be true, but St. George himself may have actually been a real person. While his origins are uncertain, he appears to have died at the age of 47 in the year 303. Accounts suggest that he was a Roman soldier whose duty it was to protect the Roman Emperor. However, he was ordered to renounce his Christian beliefs and refused. As a result, he was supposedly sentenced to death. But because of his bravery, he was later made a saint by the Catholic Church. The most famous story surrounding St. George is that he defeated a venom-spewing dragon to save a kingdom under threat. Interestingly, this story may actually describe another martyr named Theodore of Amasa. Either way, while the dragon-slaying portion is suspect, it's possible that both men existed in real life. Nah, I don't accept that. Sorry, I live in a fantasy world where I like to believe the dragons are real, like Smaug. What are you going to do now, Bowmaster? Number 8 is Till Eulenspiegel. Till Eulenspiegel is a 14th century figure from German folklore. A trickster who punishes hypocrisy and greed, his exploits spread across Europe, becoming common myth. But nevertheless, he may have actually been a real person. He traveled across the Holy Roman Empire, including North Germany, Bohemia, and Italy. Living as a vagrant, his exploits became legendary, with rumors of his presence everywhere. He would publicly humiliate those who were mean and foolish, with even the Pope being one of his rumored victims. Using his guile and wit to show those in power how destructive their behaviors were, it's unsurprising that what little documented evidence survives of this trickster suggests that he spent much of his time in prison. Too bad YouTube vlogging didn't exist back then because that vlog would have been lit. Still in prison. Subscribe! Number 7 is John Henry. The story of John Henry has often been described as a modern myth However, there's evidence that he may have actually been a real person. John Henry was supposedly an African American who had at one time been a slave. Following the American Civil War when slavery was ended, he worked on the railroads. It was his job to hammer steel drills into the rock so that explosives could be laid inside. The rock would then be destroyed, cutting a path for the railway. The story goes that John was asked to prove that he could outperform a steam-powered hammer in the same job. Taking pride Right in what he did, he accepted, and he cut through the rock and won. But having all of his efforts into this contest, he died of a heart attack with his hammer in his hand. John's story of sheer will became legend, but surviving accounts suggest that he was real. Number 6 is Jason. 
The legend of Jason and the Golden Fleece dates back thousands of years, but recent evidence suggests that there might be truth to the tale. In the story, Jason went on a perilous journey to the Svaneti region of modern-day Georgia to find the pelt of Zeus's winged ram. The wool from this beast was made of gold, and Jason hoped that by claiming the Golden Fleece, he would earn the right to reinstate his father to the throne of Thessaly in Greece. As it turns out, around 3,500 years ago, people in that region were using animal skins to sift gold from local rivers. This in turn covered the skins in gold and resulted in the famed Golden Fleece. Combining this fact with historical sources depicting Jason's voyage to find the Golden Fleece, experts now suggest that he very well may have been a real life hero. Too bad things weren't documented a little more back then because we would have had documented evidence saying, I found a man named Jason, he is ballith with the bling blingeth. Number five is Merlin. Merlin is the inspiration for the wise wizard trope found in modern day fantasy fiction and it turns out that he was probably real. The famous depiction of Merlin is as a powerful wizard or sage who advises King Arthur on how to best rule Britain. However, when tracing this story back to its origins, Merlin is most likely based on Myrden Wilt, who is an advisor to the Welsh Lord Gwendolu. After watching his lord die in the Battle of 573 AD, Myrden temporarily lost his mind and became a hermit in the Caledonian forest of Scotland, grieving for the mistakes he and his lord had made. There, he allegedly uncovered great knowledge and gained the power to tell the future. Centuries later, Myrden's name was commonly translated into Latin, giving us the familiar sounded Merlinus. Why do names always sound cooler with us at the end? I could have been Matthias. Hello, Matthias! Subscribe to Matthew Matthias! Okay, yeah, it's not as good, never mind. Number four is Odysseus. See, another name with us at the end of it that sounds cool. Why doesn't mine sound cool? One of the most famous myths of all time describes Odysseus' journey home after the fall of Troy. Not only does the fictionalized version claim that it took him 10 years, but Odysseus may have very well been a real person. The Odyssey, written by an ancient writer known as Homer, depicts Odysseus as the king of Ithaca who, after devising the famous Trojan horse, which was used to sneak into the city of Troy and destroy it, sets off on a legendary journey to return home. Along the way, he fights a cyclops and is chased by cannibals and even encounters dead spirits. Ah, sounds like a day in downtown LA. While the legend might not be accurate, archaeologists have recently discovered a palace which perfectly fits Homer's descriptions of the Odyssey's home. This raises the possibility that Odysseus very well may have been a real life person and that maybe even some of the stories are true. Number three is Imhotep. Imhotep was an Egyptian god who, as it turns out, was real. Well, kind of. Imhotep was a god of medicine and healing, and so he had an important place in Egypt's ancient religion. He was also later associated with the god of mathematics and architecture. Several myths surround Imhotep and his powers, including his efforts to single-handedly end a seven-year drought. Imhotep was personally credited with several inventions, including sophisticated methods to build with stone. And these myths were actually based on a real man. Imhotep was originally an Egyptian chancellor who lived in 2700 BC. He was described as being a physician, astrologer, engineer, and poet among other things. Long after his death, the stories of his accomplishments were turned into legend. Number two is King Arthur. King Arthur is one of the most famous mythological characters in the world, but some believe that he was actually a real person. Much of the Arthurian legend is common knowledge that he became king of the Britons after pulling the magical sword Excalibur from a stone. He was just and kind, but was fatally wounded in his fight with Mordred. Carried away by the angels to the mythical land of Avalon, it's said that King Arthur will return to defend Britain in its darkest hour. Now there are many versions of this legend that go back 
centuries, and debate still rages over its origins. Some believe that Arthur was indeed a real man who led his forces against invading Anglo-Saxons in the 5th century. And a few historical documents from the 9th century support this assertion, so very well likely the legendary knight was real after all. Well, if this is myth and they were trying to be inspirational with the story, they should have made it that the first time he tried to pull out the stone, he threw out his back. She's like, ah! Oh god, I'll try again later. And he did, he pulled it out. See, inspiration. And number one is Robin Hood. The story of Robin Hood is very well known, a man who led a merry group of bandits from Sherwood Forest to steal from the rich and give to the poor. This heroic outlaw, however, is more than just a myth. The earliest references to Robin Hood come from criminal records in the 13th century. In 1261, there are numerous mentions of Robin Hood and variations of the name. Some suggestions for the true identity of Robin Hood include Robin Hood of York, who became an outlaw after having his finances confiscated. Another possibility is Roger Godbird, whose career as an outlaw mirrors many of the descriptions of Robin Hood from the 13th century. So although no one's sure exactly which guy it is, it is certain that one of them was Robin Hood, but whether he stole from the rich and gave to the poor is debatable. And that's it! If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like it in the future, subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications for my new uploads. Thank you for watching and I'ma see you in the next one! Goodbye now!